Breaking in just the last few minutes, a Clearwater homeowner explaining tense moments this morning when he shot and critically injured an intruder. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane shows us how it all went down. Investigators have really been focused on the garage most of the day, trying to figure out what exactly happened before an intruder was shot. Wow, that's scary. That's what many in a Clearwater neighborhood are saying after police say an intruder broke into a home on Highland and Cleveland just after 930 this morning. Police say the homeowner called 911 after shooting the intruder and is cooperating with them. Neighbors say they weren't that surprised. It's pretty scary to know, you know, because like I said, I come here at 930 at night. Lori Beck says she's going to start taking more precautions. I'll probably carry something with me like a, a mace or pepper spray. Police aren't releasing the intruder's name, but they say the 31 year old Clearwater man who was shot has a long criminal history and is still alive, but in critical condition. There's been two or three break ins in this area. Robert Straley lives down the street and is glad the homeowner protected himself. And I don't know if anybody got shot or Heard or they did. Yeah, the, the homeowner shot the intruder. Well, good for him. Clearwater police did confirm that they don't plan to press any charges against the man who lives in the home. So he went right through here. And when I seen him, because the door that I came through was there, and, and he got shot. In Clearwater, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.